Hello, my name is James Deersley. I'm also known as the Surrey Beekeeper. And this is a short video giving you a little bit of an insight into my book, which is called From A to B, uh, with a subtitle of my, my first year as a beginner beekeeper. And that's exactly what this book is. Um, it's a diary account of my first year of learning this most amazing hobby of, of keeping bees. And, and I hope it will give you some insight into the world of beekeeping. And, and uh, it's not really there for beekeepers, it's there for everybody, because it covers the sort of uh, what I wanted to achieve in that first year. It covers my beekeeping course, it covers um, everything it's about picking some hives and, and how I went about that with a, a brand new modern sort of hive which I called my, my fridge freezer hive with a more traditional hive. And um, it's a light-hearted sort of look at getting all of this, getting my first bees and the nervous excitement as I drove them home in my car um, to this new home they have today. Um, and it sort of culminates in um, the, the end of the year when I had this one aim throughout the whole year to get just one jar of honey um, in that year and as to whether or not I got it and I, and I moved the earth to try to get this one jar of honey. So that's what this book is all about. It, I hope it gives you a whole spectrum of that beekeeping year from a real beginner's perspective. So there's nothing technical in it. It's all very light-hearted, very fun um, and it's, it's very suitable I think for gardeners and beekeepers alike. Um, who just want to know a little tiny bit more about the subject and, and hopefully with it being a diary account it's a put up and put down sort of book as well so I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, but I'll give you a little bit of an insight, this is just basically from, from the introduction uh, of my, my sampled edition um, and so I hope, you, I hope you enjoy it. Beekeeping, oh my, what have I done? I'm a 30 years old, I've been married for three years and I'm a new father to a fantastic little boy. Surely there are things I should be doing at this age which do not involve little yellow and black insects that can hurt you if you're remotely clumsy, which at six foot five I have an amazing ability to be. My wife Jo thinks I've lost my mind and my little boy looks at me rather strangely when I start running around the living room, making buzzing noises and flapping my arms frantically as I try desperately to make him laugh. I think maybe my wife is right. My own mother has disowned me and blames my father for these sorts of ideas. He is, after all, a Morris dancer. My colleagues think I've simply lost a plot and they take a wide berth around my desk and no longer engage in any sort of conversation, knowing it will only end up with me talking about bees. It's no surprise, therefore, that I should reflect on precisely what it is I'm about to undertake, especially when A, I spent my whole life running away from these frightening creatures, and B, I don't particularly like honey. And yet, regardless of these two small issues, I've started to learn the simple, or so I thought, art of beekeeping. My decision to become a beekeeper started in the middle of the year on one of those fantastic summer evenings when the light is beautiful, resting on the garden and I was there, glass of wine in hand, watering the flower beds. It was one of those moments to treasure until I realised I'd completely drenched a poor bumblebee trying to seek shelter in a flower of a gladioli. The poor little thing did not look happy but just bumbled along onto the next flower and I was transfixed. And sometimes it takes just a moment for me to become obsessed. This was a glorious creature, just going about its duty, when a great beast of a thing, me, came along to interrupt its vital role in the great world that we live in. That moment got me thinking about the whole bee world, and it was then that I started reading about the plight of the honeybee. I hadn't even considered there was more than one type of bee. I now know there's over 200 types of bee in the UK alone. And it sounded as if I was having a hard time. It sounded, sorry, it sounded as if they were having a hard time, and I mean a seriously hard time, and not just from the likes of ambitious and competitive gardeners watering their plants. Honeybee populations were dropping in considerable numbers and not, and not a lot was being done, or so it appeared. There was also other reasons why bees were starting to appeal. I was increasingly becoming fascinated by elements of the self-sufficient lifestyle, and I love growing vegetables on the allotment. I know I'm only 30 years old, but the old romantic in me had idealistic notions of me taking my little boy up to the allotment and each Saturday going to check the bees with him just to teach him about the world and where everything that ends up on his plate comes from. In order to turn my idealistic thoughts into reality I had to start to learn the art, if only to help the bees in my area. Maybe I could make a difference and cause a butterfly effect in the UK which would spread throughout the world and save the honeybee. It may, I made it my mission to learn everything I could about bees. I would get a couple of hives, confuse my friends and family, even my Morris dancing father, with my newfound wisdom of the bee world, and have a simple aim, to try to make one pot of honey in a year, just one. I'm not sure I could handle any more. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my journey. So there you have it, that's my introduction to the book. Once again, from A to B, the uh, first year as a beginner beekeeper, and I, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.